6.1.2 prepare the asset disposal account to take into account the sale of the equipment on 1 December 2016. So we are given in A a fixed asset note. So we have our equipment columns amongst others which we will require since this has to do with the disposal of equipment and okay, this relates to new vehicle purchase we need to focus on the selling number C provides us information on 1 December 2016 alt equipment was sold for 50,000 so that's the consideration on credit the accumulated depreciation on the equipment sold was 48,750 on 1 March 2016. That's the beginning of the financial year. So we will also still have to write down depreciation from 1 March to 1 December, amongst other things. Equipment is depreciated at 15% on costs. Okay, but first step is to get the cost price or the historical costs of the equipment that was sold. So, because we only have here the consideration and the accumulated depreciation. So, let's go to our note for equipment. We will have to focus on costs. So, now we know we have the equation that the costs at the beginning of the year plus additions at cost minus disposals at cost, that which we get rid of, must equal the cost at the end of the financial year so here's our formula cost at the beginning plus additions at cost minus disposals at cost gives us the cost at the end of the year so now we can just substitute we don't know the cost at the beginning uh, no, we do. It's 420,000. Because remember, the missing one is the disposal one. That's the one we are interested in. So we have 420,000. And then our addition set costs. We have zero there. So we have zero for additions. The disposal set cost is the one we are interested. So that's the unknown at this stage. And then the cost at the end is the 290,000 rand. So now we can solve this equation. We can uh, take the negative disposals across the equal sign. It becomes a positive disposal. We can take the 290,000 to the left it becomes negative 290,000 so it's the 420 minus the 290,000 which gives us 150,000 that's the historical cost now we know assets have debit balances so to get rid of this equipment we will have to do the opposite we will have to credit the asset Therefore, we have to debit another account, namely the asset disposal on the 1st of December 2016, the date of disposal. And equipment is the contra entry, that was the account that we credited. And we know the amount is 150,000 Rand. Okay, now um, we have to focus on the accumulated depreciation but we know the accumulated depreciation is on 1 March so we will still have to calculate depreciation from 1 March to 1 December 2016 before we can remove the correct total of accumulated depreciation so we first have to count how many months so it's the whole of March the whole of April May, June, July, August, September, October, the whole of November. So it is nine months worth of depreciation. And this is on the cost. And we uh, calculated the cost. That was the last thing we did. So 
Therefore, on the 150,000, we will have to calculate the depreciation for nine months at a rate of 15%. And then we will get 14,625 Rand. But that we have to add to the accumulated depreciation that we already have. So if we total those two, that is the amount of accumulated depreciation that we have to remove. We know accumulated depreciation is a negative asset, so it has the opposite balance of a normal asset. Therefore, it must be a credit balance. So to get rid of that accumulated depreciation, since we are getting rid of the asset, we have to do the opposite. We have to debit accumulated depreciation. Therefore, credit accumulated depreciation in the asset disposal account on the date of disposal, 1 December 2016. The other account we know is the accumulated depreciation on equipment. And we know it's the 48,750, the balance at the beginning of the year, plus the 14,625 that we calculated. And that will give us a total of 63,375 Rand. So we got rid of the cost price. We got rid of the accumulated depreciation. Now we still have to focus on the consideration portion so if we read that number c it was sold for 50,000 on credit so therefore the money is still owed to us so debtors control is involved so therefore debtors control is we know is an asset assets increase on the debit side so we will debit debtors control credit another account namely asset disposal for 50,000 rand so 50,000 rand now we need to see what site is the larger site in order to find the profit or loss so on the credit site we have 50 plus 63 it's 113 it is less than 130 so therefore we still need something on the credit side. We know our totals are 130. Now, if we credit as a disposal, we will have to debit another account. On the debit side, we know expenses increase, therefore it has to be a loss. So we have loss on sale of asset, which is the 150,000 minus the 50,000 minus the 63,375, which gives us 16,625 rand.